Good day, Mount Zion scholars. It's Brother Corey, and I'm glad to be with you. Today, I would like to speak with you about right habits, about practicing good habits. What are habits? A habit is a routine behavior that is repeated regularly and, of course, occurs subconsciously. Put another way, a habit is something you do all the time without thinking about it, like brushing your teeth or getting dressed or eating food. As Christians or followers of Christ, the best habit we can practice is spending time with him. What does it mean to spend time with Jesus and how do we do that? Spending time with Christ simply means going to him in prayer and having a conversation with him. Going to God with respect and telling him your thoughts and how you feel and things you want to achieve. Communicating with Jesus is similar to speaking with our parents. Hanging out or spending time with Jesus also means that I listen to what he is telling me. You may be wondering, Brother Corey, how do I hear from Jesus? Well, the answer to that question is also simple. We Christians hear from Jesus by reading the Bible. Make sure you have a Bible that you can read and understand. There are plenty of different versions available. Why do we spend time with Jesus? We do so to have a relationship with him. Jesus wants to be part of our lives because he loves us. Since we have Jesus in our lives, one of the things that we receive from him is we get to know who he is. We get to know his character and his ways. As a result of spending time with him, we change, and he helps us grow into the people that he wants us to be. Think about that for a second. The creator of everything wants to spend time with you. When we spend time with Jesus, we receive from him rest, energy, strength, and intelligence. Many of you are going back to school in the next couple of weeks, either in person or remotely. I encourage you to check, take Jesus with you and spend time with him. You can spend time with him on the way to school, while at school, or on the way home from school. And the easiest way to do this is through prayer. Here's an example. Father God, thank you for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. Please watch over me and my family and get us all home safely. In Jesus' name, amen. We have just spent time with Jesus. I hope this has been encouraging for you. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.